Hey guys, my name is Kaiser and I'm with Blue Frame Technology and I am here to kind of give you a short walkthrough on our remote truck app. Uh, so we're gonna walk through how to use it for streaming as well as how to incorporate your graphics uh, into the remote truck and your broadcast on just the iPad. Um, so remote truck does have some additional capabilities like you can use it as a camera um, with your production truck on Mac. Um, setup, however, today we're gonna just talk about how we use it for streaming. Uh, so in the remote truck app, I'm going to go ahead and open up to the main screen here. Um, this little top menu button up in the top left will give you a little sidebar um, that gives you all the options. Uh, now you're not going to see all the options until you log in. So we first need to hit this little plus button in the bottom right corner under the users area. Here it's going to ask you to log in. All right. Once you are logged in, you should see your email up at the top and you can continue to add users if you need to add more users in there with that plus button again. Uh, but then we're gonna go back to the menu button there and now you can see on the sidebar, we've got a handful of new options there. Uh, outside of just stream, you can also use the remote truck app to manage your broadcast. So if you go to broadcast there on the left, you should see all of the broadcasts that you have access to. Uh, so you can come in here and edit or create broadcasts um, that maybe you won't even use in a remote truck that might, you might use in a production truck. Um, so you can come in here and adjust that. Uh, I'll also quick touch in here on the, the overlay section. So here's where you can come in and uh, control your overlays for the remote truck broadcast. Um, so we can come in here and we can choose a, uh, choose if you wanna use your logos here under the games tab. Um, so if you want to add logos to that top um, left and bottom left section there, um, you can enable those here. You can also change where you want that graphic to show up, um, whether, you know, in any of these six positions. And then if you actually want to start adding in some of that information, you can go under the home and away tabs here, where you can come in here and you can change the name of your teams. So we'll just do team A. And then we can also do team B here as well. And then we can also add in logos or change the font color um, or even a team color there below as well. Uh, one other thing we do have as well with the graphics is scoreboard integration. So if you have a scoreboard device, uh, you can connect that scoreboard device and have it automate your, your scoreboard data from that scoreboard controller in your, on your field or at your field or in your, your gym, um, wherever you might be. So now if you wanna start streaming, uh, all you have to do is hit back and you can open up the side panel again and go to stream. Here you'll have an option for a phone camera. So this is gonna be your camera that you have on the device that you're using, whether it's an iPhone or an iPad, it'll say phone camera there. And when you select it, you should be able to see your video that you're shooting with that device. Uh, so to start streaming, we first need to choose a broadcast. So we'll click select broadcast up at the top. And it's gonna bring us to this page where we can also choose our video quality. Um, we're gonna choose select broadcast again. And then we're gonna use this first, uh, first option here, the remote truck demo. So we'll tap on that. And you can see that filled in up at the top. And now we can choose the quality that we wanna do, um, either 360 or 720p, or we can also just go with auto. Auto will just choose whatever the best quality uh, it can handle based on the network. Um, so we're just gonna leave it auto for now and we'll hit launch. So once you are back on here, you can see that it says remote truck demo up at the top and you can see we've still got our video coming through here. Um, we've got a few buttons on the bottom left we're gonna walk through before we start the broadcast. Uh, so we've got first our settings button. So this brings up a little option where we can change our overlay setup, we can turn our overlays off, um, or we can do a network test to see um, how fast our network is or how strong the network is um, before we start streaming. And there's also a hide stats option. The stats are the, the statistics or the stats or numbers down here in the bottom right. Gives you your CPU usage, how much memory of the iPad it's using and the frame rates, um, as well as what the network is. Um, so that may be some helpful information if you do start running into issues, you can check and see what those numbers look like if those numbers are getting maybe a little too high. Um, so we can go ahead and show or hide those. And then we also have the option to either uh, turn off the video by clicking on the little camera here. That goes to audio only and you'll see your poster image there. Or you can go uh, and turn your audio off by clicking the mute button, which is that little microphone option just to the right of that. Um, a couple other controls here that you have on the, each side, you can swipe from the left or the right and open up 
either the score controls here on the left for the scoreboard. Um, so we can change our, actually, let me go ahead and turn on the scoreboard so we can see that. Overlay setup, turn that on. And now if we go back, we can see the overlay is on and we can toggle that on and off. Once you swipe in from the left, you can then change the score from this little section here. Uh, so right now it's set to home, so we can hit the plus one on the home and bump that up. Or we can switch to the away there and we can change the away score there as well. Um, so that's an easy way to just quickly keep score um, on the broadcast. If you have a scoreboard device connected, then you can use a play clock um, or the, the game clock, I should say. Uh, so you do have that option, if you, but only if you have a scoreboard device connected. On the right hand side, we have our ad trigger system. So if you are using the blue frame ad trigger system, um, commonly in production truck, but also now in remote truck, you can use this to toggle on a 1530, minute, uh, one minute, 130 or two minute ads. Um, so you just tap on that, it'll start an ad once you're live, and then you can always stop it if you need to on the stop ad button. You can always hide those by swiping back to the outsides of the screen. Once you're ready to start broadcasting, you can just hit start. At this point, you can see that we are live. Um, we've got a little red button up here in the very top left corner, and that start button changed to a stop button. Um, so at this point, we are streaming, and we can kind of pan back and forth here. Um, you might see a little bit of a delay on vCloud. Um, usually it's about 20 or 30 seconds if you do go to check to monitor that. And once we're ready to stop, we can just go back to that stop button on the bottom of the screen. There we go. Now it's going to take a second to upload the last few video files. Um, it's always kind of working maybe a second or so behind on that. Um, so you might see this, this screen here where it's uploading the last few files. Now once you've stopped a broadcast, this, you'll get this little option here, um, which is basically asking what you want to do with the broadcast. Are you done with it? Um, you want to archive it? Or are you not done with it and you want to maybe start streaming to it again later? Uh, the important thing to know is that once you archive a broadcast like this, you cannot start streaming to it again. Uh, so if you do archive it, or before you archive it, make sure that you definitely want to archive it like the game is over and you're done with that broadcast. Otherwise, if you do need to come back to it later, you can always hit not done, and come back and start streaming to it later. And you can uh, always archive it later too if you do decide you want to on vCloud. Um, but right now we're gonna go ahead and just hit archive since we're done with this broadcast. So that is a very basic walkthrough on how to start streaming with the Remote Truck app. If you have any questions on any of the other capabilities that uh, Remote Truck has, like using it as a camera um, with Production Truck, or even using it for OVR, or our official video review system, uh, feel free to contact our support team at support at blueframetech.com.